guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a super easy and delicious chicken noodle soup. In case you just want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need one whole chicken or two chicken breasts with ribs, two drumsticks, two wings, and two thighs, 10 cups of water, three cups of white egg noodles, two small chopped onions, one cup of sliced carrots, one cup of sliced celery, one bunch minced fresh parsley, one teaspoon of minced fresh thyme, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of whole black pepper, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by making our chicken stock. Now in order for you to have the best chicken soup, you're going to need a really good chicken stock. So this is what we're going to start by doing. So grab your pieces of chicken and pat them dry. And if you're going to be using a whole chicken, let me tell you that's going to be so much better, but I'm not gonna lie, it's going to be messy. So we're just going to use our pieces of chicken and just pat them dry completely. Okay, so of course, if you're going to use a whole chicken, it's going to be so much better and so much cheaper. But like I said, it's messy. All right, so our drumsticks, we're going to leave them as a whole. So set them to the side. The wings, we're going to cut them into three pieces. So one, two, three. So start by removing the end. So use a sharp knife or your kitchen scissors and remove the end. Now throw, throw this away because we're not going to need it. And then go back to the wing. Cut again. And of course, just be careful. And then once you get your wing, we're going to cut it in half. We have our wing like that, so we have three pieces. And we're going to do the same to the other wing. All right, so for our chicken thigh, we're just going to cut it in half. And the chicken breast, we're going to leave it as is. All right, so once we have all of our chicken pieces uh, ready, now we are ready to start cooking. And now I had a whole chicken earlier, so I still have the, the spine, so if you decide to do the whole chicken, just hold on to the spine. All right, so let's get going. All right, so now I'm going to be using my Dutch oven. I'm going to set it on medium high heat, and I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up, and then we can begin cooking. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to begin by placing our chicken breast. Make sure that the ribs are up. And we're going to brown them for three minutes on each side. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to flip them over. And brown that side for another three minutes. All right, so after three minutes, we're going to remove our chicken breast. We're going to place them in a bowl. And now we're going to add the remaining pieces of our chicken. And of course, if your pot is a bit smaller, then put a few pieces at a time. And now we're going to cook our pieces of chicken for three minutes on each side as well. All right, so after three minutes, we're going to flip all of our pieces over. So now we're going to let them brown for another three minutes. All right, so after three minutes, we're going to remove our chicken and place it with our chicken breast. Ready? And now to our oil, we're going to add one of our minced onions. So now we're just going to cook them for three minutes. All right, so after three minutes, we're going to return all of our chicken, except for the chicken breast. Throw in all of our accumulated juice. Okay. So now we're going to cover it, reduce the heat to low, and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Make sure that you keep an eye on your chicken so it doesn't stick to your pot. 
Alright guys, so it's been 20 minutes and this is what our chicken should look like. So we should have all that juice right there. So now we're going to add our two pieces of chicken breast. So we're going to add it back. We're going to add our 10 cups of water. So just make sure that your chicken is covered in there. We're going to turn up the heat back to medium high. So now we're going to add our pepper, our salt, and I'm using one tablespoon, and our two bay leaves. So now we're just going to wait for this to come to a boil, and then we can continue moving on. All right guys, so once the chicken begins to boil, we're going to reduce the heat to low setting again, and we're going to cover it and let it cook for 20 minutes or until our chicken breasts are fully cooked. All right guys, so after 20 minutes, we're going to get our chicken breasts out, set them in a plate, and set them to the side. So we're just going to wait for them to cool down. So after we cool down, we are able to shred it. So now we're just going to remove the remaining of our chicken. All right guys, so once we have our chicken stuck in our pot, now we're going to strain it. All right, so I'm going to be using a fat separator. So if you don't have one of these, it's okay. Just use something that's big enough where all of our broth is going to fit. Alright, so now we're just going to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, so now if you don't have a fat separator, you're going to have to skim out the fat using a spoon. Just, just like that. And you don't want to skip this step, otherwise we're going to end up with a very greasy soup. And you don't want that. Alright guys, so now we are ready to begin to cook our chicken noodle soup. So we're going to return to our clean Dutch oven. We're going to set it on medium high heat and we're going to add a little bit of oil. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up and then we're going to begin the process. And guys, so once our oil is hot, we're going to throw in our onion, our carrots, and celery. So now we're going to cook them for seven minutes. All right guys, so after seven minutes, we're going to add our thyme. And mix it in there. And once we begin to smell the thyme, we're going to add our in our broth. So it shouldn't take that long. Starting to smell delicious. Okay, so now we're going to add in our broth. Our chicken stock. Okay, so now we're just going to wait for this to come to a simmer. All right, so once our soup begins to boil, we're going to reduce the heat to low setting. And we're just going to let our vegetables cook for about six minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to begin to shred our chicken. All right, so for my chicken breast, I'm just going to remove the skin. And just remove the meat from its bone and begin to shred. All right guys, so after eight minutes, you wanna check your celery and carrots and make sure that they are soft. So you should be able to break your carrot with your fingers. So now at this point, we're going to add in our noodles. And of course the noodles are going to cook them based on the package. So my noodles normally take six minutes. So I'm going to let that cook for six minutes and then we can add the rest of our ingredients. All right guys, so once our noodles are fully cooked, we're going to add in our chicken. And we're just going to heat it up for a couple minutes. All right guys, so now we're going to try it and see if it needs any salt. Right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to mine. 
And I'm also going to add ground black pepper. So of course that's going to be all to taste. So now just mix it. And at this point we're going to turn it off and add our parsley. All right, so now we are ready to serve and enjoy our delicious chicken noodle soup. All right, you guys, and here you have it, our delicious chicken noodle soup. Grab your crackers or your favorite bread and your soda because that is all you need. All right, you guys, and now for the best part. Are you ready? I am ready. It's still hot. Well, his is already a little cooled down, but you ready? He's been waiting. Cheers. Mmm, mm. so delicious. Mm. Seriously, super delicious. So flavorful. It doesn't need anything. It's perfect like that. And of course, you know, if you don't want to go through the whole process of making your own chicken stock, then you can use store-bought, but let me tell you that it's not going to be the same. This is so worth it. You ready? Alrighty guys, and there you have it, huh? Make a super easy and delicious chicken noodle soup. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú ves.